Who can tell me the word of the week for basketball? Who knows the word of the week? Raise your hand. Word of the week. I'm not here, but I don't see my hand. Rock. My man, give him a hand. There you go. Good job. Give him a hand. Give him a hand. Give him a hand. Rock, you got like nine basketball. You need to stop giving him away, man. So, he's on. All right. I'm going to introduce a very special person. She's going to speak to you guys tonight. Uh, she's a three time Emmy Award winner. She's the cousin of Denzel Washington. She's been on BT 19 times, and she's never been arrested. And her credit score is 750, all right? And everything I just said was a lie, all right? Y'all give, it's that credit score, that was right, that was right. So y'all give a good round of applause to Ray, 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 LeBron because I don't know that that's gonna happen but we're gonna pray for him hey I'm here to talk to y'all about excellence right that's the word of the week but first I just want to talk actually to you about fast food real quick I know that's kind of random but I want you to think about fast food and excellence think about those three words together fast food and excellence who do you think about what company Zaxby's. Zaxby's, okay. McDonald's, Chick-fil-A, wow. Who else? Go, Corral, Okay, so I heard, I heard Chick-fil-A, I heard Zaxby's, I heard McDonald's, and I heard Golden Corral. I want to talk about Chick-fil-A. Who said Chick-fil-A? Why do you think Chick-fil-A is excellent? They make the most money, okay. I mean, the best chicken in South Carolina, okay. So what I hear when you talk about the best chicken in South Carolina, I hear you talking about the product, okay. So Chick-fil-A has the best product. What else do they have that sets them apart? There are almost 200,000 fast food franchises in America. What makes Chick-fil-A so great? They got respect. Okay. Who else said something? Christian. They're Christian. That's excellent. That's good. What else? One more thing I'm just thinking of. Great hospitality. That's perfect. Great hospitality. Great customer service. That is perfect. This pen is kind of weak, but. So we got product and customer service. Apparently, according to y'all, that's what equals excellence. Okay? That makes sense. So, if I'm going to talk about excellence, and I talk about the product, and I talk about customer service, and I say that that equals excellence, if I try to take that over to a person, and what, what I'm really talking about is if I try to take you and make you excellent, we're going to talk about that in a couple of minutes. But if I was going to take you, and you were the product, we're going to talk about how do I make you better, and then when it comes to customer service, how do I make you better, and how does that equate to excellence? You probably don't get what I'm saying right now, but I want to define excellence for you real quick. So we're actually going to play just a little game. It's a lot of y'all, but we're going to stand up, and we're going to play a little game real quick. But I want to talk about the difference between good, great, and excellent. Three different things. So you got every other team in the NBA that's good. You got the Cavs that's great. And you got the Warriors that's excellent. <laughs> Come on, man. The stats say it. The stats say it, but OK. All right, whatever, whatever. So you got good, you got great, and you got excellent. Everybody stand up for me real quick. I need my three volunteers, three volunteers. I got Mel, George, and Eric. Where are my volunteers? No, you don't need your broom, sir. So you stand right there. There's Eric. Mel, where you at? There she is. There she is. So you stand over there. You stand over there. You're right here in the middle, Mel. Right here in the middle. All right, so Eric represents good. Go over there, Eric. On over, on over, on over. All the way to the baseline or the sideline. Eric represents good. Mel represents great. And George represents excellent. <laughs> so I'm going to call some names. 
And I want you to go stand near the category you think these people represent. Okay, do you think they're good? Do you think they're great? Or do you think they're excellent? Steph Curry. Good, great, excellent. Let's see what you got. Wow. That's pretty even. I'm, I'm surprised by that. So a lot of people think Curry is just good. Is that what I'm understanding? Wow. There are more people that think he's good than excellent. Okay. Kobe Bryant. Wow. <laughs> wow. That is powerful. Okay. All right. Tiger Woods. Good. Great. Excellent. <laughs> wow. Wow. So all of y'all think Tiger Woods is just good? He's not great? He's not excellent? Okay. All right. How about LeBron James? <laughs> okay. All right. I got one more. Chris Paul. Good, great, excellent. Okay, somebody give me one more. Kyrie Irving, that's a good one. Good, great, or excellent. Wow. <laughs> that, that's a good one, that's a good one. All right, somebody recommend that I do one more. Somebody said I should do God. Good, great, or excellent. people. We talked about whether they were good, whether they were great, or whether they were excellent. Actually, y'all surprised me because y'all were all over the place, but I like it. When you say somebody's excellent, I think, let's see, I, I don't know, who was the last one I did where everybody went over there? God, that's a good one. Somebody else, Kobe Bryant. A lot of people were over there on the excellent side. Why do you say Kobe Bryant is excellent? Okay, somebody said because he's an all-star several times, MVP several times, he works hard, I like it. What other reason is he excellent? Five rings. The guy has five rings, that makes him excellent. Okay, cool. So, I would challenge you to consider this. Everything you base somebody's goodness or somebody's greatness or somebody's excellence on was about skill. Is that accurate? Is it good enough to say you're excellent because you got great skill? You can cross the best of them, you can dunk, you can't dunk yet, but you're gonna be able to do dunk. You can dunk, you can do all of that. Does that make you excellent? Not really. That's just like saying, that's like saying Chick-fil-A is only excellent because they have a good product. McDonald's is, they have a good product sometimes. Zaxby's has a good product, but that's not all it takes for them to be excellent, right? So, if you're going to be an excellent product, I agree. As a person, you've got to have skill. If you're going to be a good basketball player, you've got to have skill. We know that. But what about the service part? How do I fix that? It's character. So when it comes to a business being excellent, they got to have a good product. 
they gotta have good service, and that makes them excellent. When it comes to you as a person being excellent, you gotta have good skills, meaning you gotta be good at what you do, and you gotta have good character. It's not okay to just have good, a, good you know, A's and B's on your report card. You gotta also be a good person. You gotta have good character. You gotta be honest. You gotta be genuine. You gotta be nice. You're not excellent if you're out there bullying people and you got good grades. So what? That doesn't mean anything. So the formula for personal excellence is skill plus, what was the other word I said? I'm testing you. Character, exactly. Plus character, that equals personal excellence. So, how do you improve your skill level? What do you do? You work hard, absolutely, period, point blank. There is no other way to get more skilled at anything than to work hard and to practice. You gotta do it. How do you get better character though? You respect people, exactly. What else? Your attitude. What happens when you win? Do you, do you pout? Are you Cam Newton and you go up there and you just pout when you lose? How else do you develop better character? Sportsmanship, that's a good one. Treat other people the way you want to be treated. It's excellent. So I would challenge you to consider the fact that if you want to be excellent, you've got to be skilled at what you do. If you're going to be an excellent student, be skilled, make good grades, work hard, but you also got to be a good person, guys. It doesn't mean anything if you leave your school with good grades and yeah, he could ball, but he treated every girl he came across wrong. He bullied people. He teased people. You're not leaving a mark. You're not leaving a legacy on your school. So some people are just good. Some people are just good. Some people are even great. Some people are like Burger King. I want you to be like Chick-fil-A. I want you to be excellent. Maybe be like Kobe Bryant and be excellent, but now that I've redefined excellence for you, I would argue that Kobe Bryant really isn't that excellent. He's skilled, right? Plenty of skill. So I'd say he's great. He's going to go down in history as one of the best players to ever play the game. He's skilled, but is he a good person? What do you think about when you think about Kobe Bryant's character? Not so great. What about Tiger Woods? The best golfer to do it. But what do you remember about his character? Y'all might be too young to remember <laughs> a lot of what he's done. But what about LeBron James? What do you think about when you think about character when I say LeBron James? Good or bad? Excellent. There's a high school in Akron where that guy sends every student to graduate from that high school that wants to go to college, he pays for them to go to college. That's character. He could have all, the, all that money and just keep it for himself if he wanted to, but he'd rather not. That's what I want to challenge you guys to be. I don't want you to be Tiger Woods and just be skilled. I don't want you to be Carmelo Anthony and just be skilled and never have a ring and cheat on his wife. That's character, guys. So when I say high skill, I want you to say high character. High skill. High skill. High skill. guest with us tonight. Ma'am, what is your name and when were you introduced to the Night Flight family? My name is Raven Solomon and I was introduced to Night Flight upon its inception, believe it or not. It must have been back in 2011, 
friends with Lamar and Derek, who you know kind of started and spearheaded the program. And so I used to play basketball pretty much all my life. So once I heard about the mission, the goal, the objectives of the program, it's like, yeah, I got to be a part of that. So, yep, I've been a part since then, and I moved away, but still keep in touch with those guys and a lot of the people from Night Flight and have always had a passion for this program. So it's so good to be back. Man, it's amazing to be standing here with an OG Night Flight veteran right here at Live in the Flesh. I've been watching you on Facebook and social media, and I'll be back to tell you guys her social media handles. But God has been doing some amazing things in your life. I know when you were here, you worked at a different place. And now recently I've seen that you've been speaking to other people. What made you want to come back and come speak to our youth here at Night Flight? Absolutely. First of all, basketball is a huge passion of mine. And I think just, you know, leveraging anything that kids are interested in these days to get a message like, embedded in their hearts, I think is powerful. And if you can use a medium like basketball or music or anything that resonates with them in this day and age, it's powerful. And so I love the program. I love the mission. I couldn't wait to come back to Night Flight. I, I talked to Lamar maybe two weeks ago. I was like, are we still on? I, I'm excited about it. He told me the word of the week. And, I mean, it just kind of flowed because I, I, I'm so, so passionate about excellence, like excellence in business, excellence in, in your spiritual walk in your life in general as a person is just so vital to your survival you know what I mean and your success in life so that was it just all kind of came together and flowed I'm so excited to be back you shared a quote you had the students repeating something and like I was in the background getting pumped like yes yes say it again say it again before we leave I want to make sure that the world knows what was the quote that you shared with them? absolutely it's pretty much a, a call and response mantra it's high skill high character and what that really much it pretty much says is that in order to be of excellence in, in whatever you do whether it's in business or uh, whether it's in school or what have you in order to be excellent it's gonna take skill and it takes character period if you've got high skill and you have high character you're gonna be excellent in everything you do <laughs> y'all okay Y'all already know y'all got to follow her. Y'all have to stay connected to this wonderful woman of God. Listen, tell them your social media handles. Where can they follow you on Instagram, Facebook, if you're on Twitter? Just let the people know. Yes, everything. So on Instagram and Twitter, you can find me at Raven underscore solo. That's Raven, R-A-V-E-N underscore S-O-L-O. -O. Both Twitter and Instagram. Check me out there. That'll lead you to my Facebook. It's very simple. My, also, my website is ravensolomon.com. Check it out. Hit me up. I love hearing from students, parents, you know, staff, whatever. Hit me up. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you. Y'all heard it first. High skill, high character. You got to have it. Check us back. We'll be with some more. We'll have some more interviews coming back later. Peace out, Night Fight fam. Steven. How are you? Doing good. All right, Steven. How long have you been volunteering? A number of years. I don't remember how many, so I can't really say, but more than one, less than six. All right, there you have it. He's over here working on math problems. Yeah. All right, I got another question for you. All right. All right, now, what do you love about Night Flight? What do I love? Oh. Um, I love the energy. Um, all the students come, all the adult leaders, everybody who helps out. The energy is amazing. So when you come here, even if you're sleepy, like I am today, like everybody gets pumped up and gets excited because they're watching people playing basketball, they're watching them shoot, they're watching them dunk, they're watching them go in, and so it's very exciting. So I get excited about the energy. 
Well, there you have it. Since you're sleepy, let me show you. You can do the wake up dance. Okay, you ready, man? Slide to the left. Slide to the right and do the juju. Do the juju and slide to the right. Slide to the left. Do the juju. Do the juju. What's up, Night Flight? Shan Shan, checking back in. I got my man right here. I see this logo, Eastside Eagles. All right, what's your name? Uh, my name is Tyus Lewis. I went to Eastside High School. I'm in college now. I go to North Greenville. Oh, excuse me, in college? I was about to ask him what grade he was in high school. All right, what year is it for you in college? Uh, I'm a freshman. I'm about to be a sophomore next year. All right, so he's finished the first year strong. Yeah, yeah, sure. All right, now I heard you like a Night Flight veteran. How long have you been coming to Night Flight again? Uh, since it... A year after it started. Hey, so he got some years on him. All right, this is my first year of volunteering. Now, Miss Raven, she gave a very powerful message. Can you tell me what was something that really stuck out to you while she was speaking to y'all? Um, something that really stuck out to me, I feel like if you have something or done something that did great in your life to get where you are, like being a millionaire or being a professional baller, you should always give back to people that helped you or even kids that look up to you. And I just feel like that's an important thing because it helped build your life or build you up more. All right, working on character. What was it? High skill, high what? Uh, high skill, high character. All right. Well, there you have it. He really enjoyed the powerful message. I'll be back in a minute. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Rashonda, checking in again with my guys. They act real funny when the camera turns on, man. What's your name and what grade are you going to? My name is Dario Webb, and I'm going to the ninth grade. My name is Nakeem Smith, and I'm going to the eighth grade. All right, what high schools are you guys going to? Eastside. Eastside. All right, all right. So tell me, you guys have been coming to Night Flight for a minute. What do you love about Night Flight? All the people that come here and all the, like, new friends you can get. And we can play basketball. It's just like pickup. We ain't got to go street ball. I ain't got to talk with a man talking for me. Oh, 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 okay. He doesn't talk. His man talk. So this is like your agent or something? All right. Well, you guys see that they're repping for the green team. The big question tonight is, who's going to win, the Cavs or the Warriors? Warriors. Warriors. I don't care if they down. Warriors. Y'all heard it. Warriors in four. We out, y'all. All right, we're here at Night Fight Session 7 with Mel, won our first championship. So what do you attribute to your team's success? Coming together last minute, you know, but hanging tight. They made it happen. Awesome, awesome. Congratulations. Who would you say would be your MVP tonight? Who would you say MVP? Aziz, but we also, we also had everyone come together. Yeah, we're Right here. Right here. All right, we got. It. Well, what's your name, sir? Jakari. And what? You actually hit a winning shot. Tell me about that. Winning shot. What happened? I just used the backboard. He used the bank. The bank is always open. There you have it. Night fight session seven. The black team championship 14 under. See you next week. This is the black team. They won the championship for 14 and over. How many times have you won, Pat? I won like.
three times. Three times. It's my third time. It's my third. Okay, so what was the key to your success tonight? My key was giving everybody the ball, you know, and they hit me on wide open shots, so I'm knocking these threes down. Okay. That's how we did. So you were the start of team? Here, though. He hit like five for I saw him hit like five. I saw him with a dunk, you know, several times. I'm going to get on some camera shine. What's your name? Uh, my name is Jaquan Holmes. They call me Baby J.R. Smith. They call him Baby J.R. Smith. Okay, what was the key to the black team's success tonight, J.R.? Moving the ball, getting open shots, and not being selfish. Not being selfish. All right, I got one thing to say, and I need you to say the right thing back, okay? High skill. Ooh. High character. Oh, high character. character, man. Oh, man. Give it up for the black team one time. Congratulations, y'all. Champions for the 14 and up. We'll see you next week.